tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. I'm Kevin Harlan. We've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony alongside, and our sideline reporter tonight, David Aldridge. While we get a break, let's take a look at the October standings out west. You look at Memphis, I know they would have liked a better start, but they're 10th in the conference right now. And I think for Memphis, they've been strong at times this season, but they still have some holes. I think they're a playoff caliber team. I just don't think they're a championship caliber team. This has been the thought all along. They have enough to compete night in and night out, but they're not taking four out of seven from a top team in this league. No way. And before we get going. Thank you, Kevin. They do. Great philosophy and attitude. Thanks, D.A. Here we go. It'll be the heat off the tip. And here's Lowry. So here's Miami's starting group. Butler and Tucker up in the forward spots. Lowry out there with Oladipo. And it's Adebayo in at the five spot. Now Brooks after Victor Oladipo missed from long range. Morant looking around. Down low. And Adams kicks to Morant. And the three off target. Well, Kyle Lowry, one of the big names in free agency last summer, made his mind up pretty quickly and wanted to go to Miami. With his competitive nature, he should be a terrific fit with the culture that he had built. For teams with a lot of new players, Greg, this time of year can be a real challenge. Sure can. And just getting on the same page takes some time. And then you have to build that trust. Weathering the storms together will help you do that. Brooks with no one around. Off target from outside. Bottom minute played so far here in the first. And here we go. Fast break and Moran's got it. And Adebayo sends it back. With a strong sense of timing and awareness, Bam sent that shot away. A nice shot by Tucker. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And out of bio, sends it back. And it's out of bounds. The Grizzlies able to retain possession here. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And making a statement right away, letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. Now here's Jackson. He's guarded close. Six on the shot clock. From deep three-point range. And they can thank Tucker for preventing that bucket. A tireless defender contest every shot he can. This is a to Autobio. Over to the left wing. Back to Lowry. Autobio passes to Lowry. Morant with some nice D. He like to have that one back. That's easy money. And out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Lowry feeling it out a bit. A wide open look here for Oladipo. That's him coming off an assist from Adebayo. Oladipo's got five now. Lowry against Morant. Inside, knocked away. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. Adebayo kicks to Buck. And it's Desmond Bain with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. He was too aggressive. That's already his second foul. We haven't even gotten out of the first quarter. Kyle Anderson has checked in for the Grizzlies. He knows it with the sub. Heroes checked in. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Dillman, he's checked in for Jackson. Brandon Clark comes in for Dylan Brooks. DeAnthony Melton, he's checked in for Bain. And Jones subbed in for Morant. Hey, 
Right now, let's bring up the 2K leaderboard and see the teams that really knew how to clog the passing lanes last season. Second, the Grizzlies. You, you know, I don't know if the numbers even told the story. I mean, their defense was as good as it gets, often just leaving their opponents completely demoralized. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Here's Melton. 12 points his last outing. No good, unable to end this run. A heat leading by eight. Pass to Tucker. Takes a three. Connects from the three-point range. Tucker's got a couple of threes now in the first for the Heat. Boy, that was quick. Already out to a double-digit lead. This has been a beatdown right here. Possibly over before it began. And that ends the struggle. You can feel the tensions in the building with each miss. Frustrating beginning for them. But we have a long way to go. Now they just need to string together some buckets. Now here's Anderson. Here's Tillman. No good with the layup. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. Tucker the pass to Struess. Back to Tucker. And he uses the glass on the layup. Tucker's got eight. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Elton kicks to Clark to the wing on the left. Bobbed up there for Clark. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. Not just loving when the fast break results and a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Now, here's Melton. Over Martin. Great tee that time for Martin. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. The Grizzlies trail by seven. Now, here's Melton. Can't hit from 12. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. And so it's the Miami Heat headed to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. guys that can score, a team full of guys that can defend, can get everybody else involved. Um, it's, a, it's a nice team, man. We're playing well. You talk about scoring and defending and playmaking, Greg, Jimmy Butler can do all three. Yeah, leading the way with his play, he's made a huge difference ever since he joined the team. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far, halfway through the first half in this one. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Heat. They didn't need any time to warm up from long range today. Their three-point shooting has been terrific in the first half. Also, guys, the passing has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy with all those assists. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. On the floor for Miami, Ari out there with Victor Oladipo. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And there's Jimmy Butler. And it's Martin in at the three. Just four to shoot. Pulls up. And the shot falls short this time. And Zulawi will bring it up for the Miami Heat. 
Their next game is at the American Airlines Center in Dallas for a game with the Mavericks. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. I love that about Jimmy Butler. Sees a little bit of daylight, takes it, and slams it. Moran finds Brooks. Jackson set the pick here for Brooks. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. The Heat leading by 11. Hey, when you watch Dylan Brooks play, you know, he's got some sandpaper to his game. Not shy about trading elbows. I love those guys. You need these guys to win in this league. Willing to take the defensive challenge and put their bodies on the line to get stops. Now, here's Butler. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. Up top, Oladipo. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. The Heat need to get a shot off. Butler, no good. For Memphis, they've gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second quarter. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. After their trip to the NBA Finals in 2020, the Miami Heat is looking to get back to that championship round. Jimmy Butler says, we know what we're capable of. We want to get back to the Finals. We can get back there. I like our chances against anybody, honestly. Nobody intimidates us. Kevin? A great attitude. They've shown they can compete at the highest level, David. Thank you. Big man plays by Steven Adams, using all of his height to dominate the offensive glass and end the play. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect it to. Brandon Clark, he's checked in for Memphis. Then for the Heat, Struce is checked in. And it's Tyler Hero in for Oladipo. Brooks outside. It's stolen by Adebayo. Here's Butler. Hero trying to get open. Jimmy it's Butler. Butler that time on the assist by Lowry. Butler's got the lead up to 14 now for the Heat. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Here's Moran. And oh, what a play. He just palms the block. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it, it just feels a lot bigger. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Now, here's Clark. Nine points last game. Bobbed up there for Clark. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Really left alone that time. Spruce has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Some shooters get tunnel vision, but Tyler keeping his eyes up and his options open delivers a great pass. Now, here's Brooks. He's still scoreless so far in this one. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Tillman, he's checked in for Jackson. Kyle Anderson comes in for Brooks. DeAnthony Melton, he's checked in for Bain. And Tyus Jones subbed in for Morant. Yep, that one goes. That's just staying in the moment, keeping with the current possession. Lowry passes to Struess. Here's Adebayo. The Grizzlies pull it in. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Takes it inside. Melton, no good. And here are the Heat. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Pass to Hero. It's tipped. It's stolen by Jones. And now the Grizzlies. Fast break. Jones is running. Here's Tillman. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Tillman's got six points. Miami leading by 13. Butler in the corner. And there's the pass to Lowry. We've got 22 seconds left in the first half. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Almost impossible not to fall for Larry Shotfake. The way he sells his shooting motion is just very effective in getting the defense off the ground. And so Lowry nails both of them. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Now here's Anderson. Defense is right there.
from 18 feet away. No good on the last second attempt there. And so it's Miami. Their lead at 15. Thanks very much. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball. And looking around the league as we welcome you tonight. Lots of action unfolding. Let's check it out. The Orlando Magic are trailing the Pistons out in Detroit. Still just the second quarter, and they've got a big hill to climb. This one has not been close. Nothing to see here but carnage. And now, guys, that first half, it was all about Bam Adebayo. Great performance from him. His presence on the defensive end has been something else. Swatting away everything, denying people to the rim, rebounding. That kind of aggression can really drain your opponent's willpower. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. After a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Victor Oladipo really making a difference here. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. Adams at center with Jackson next to him. Then it's Brooks. Then there's John Morant. And it's Bain in at the shooting guard position. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. The Heat leading by 18. Fires from deep. Bangs home the trifecta. Lowry's got six points in the quarter. There might be more talent at the point guard position now, Greg, than there's ever been in the NBA. But who do you think sits at the top of that list? I mean, Kevin, there's so many incredible talents. And not that I'm dodging it, but honestly, it, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It depends on what kind of tickles your fancy in terms of the point guard. If it's the ability to shoot and play without it, steps at the top of your lead list, but then you get a guy like Chris Paul, who I think is as good as anybody's ever been in the pick and roll. So they're, they're just different ways to approach this thing. And of course, now I've forgotten four or five guys that I should have added into this conversation. Here's Butler after Memphis gets the three. Oladipo for three. Adebayo kicks to Oladipo. Butler on the way. Heat moving the ball around. Down to five on the shot clock. Outside Lowry. Three-pointer. Can't hit that one. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. And over his four years at TCU, Desmond Bain shooting 43% from long range. And Steve, he has not slowed down in the NBA. The Grizzlies, can you believe, took him with the final pick of the first round in 2020. That's great value, getting a floor spacer with size that late. Here's Lowry, following the basket by John Morant. Yeah, good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got to be more careful. It's his first trip to the line. And he shot foul shots at about a 75% clip a season ago. And some changes here for the Heat. Martin's checked in for Buck. And it's Tyler Hero in for Kyle Lowry. And he can't make it three for three. And the intensity Steven Adams brings onto the court with him is obvious. Doesn't let the game come to him. He wants to dictate tempo. Hey, Greg, that's a quality that served him well. He had a lot to prove when he came into this league. He had to be assertive early on. That attitude has never left him. He still is an intimidator. Hero from long range hits the three-point bomb. Hero's got his first three points of the game. Timeout called the Grizzlies. And just trying to get some traction offensively. Boy, it hasn't been pretty. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. And 
Anderson. He's checked in for the Grizzlies. Jones comes in for Brooks. Looking here at some numbers for Oladipo. A very nice season for him last year. Last season put up about 19 points per, four assists, and five rebounds. And to have a knockdown shooter like that coming off the bench, a great asset for any coach. For sure, things can get stagnant without that spark plug. He always seems to supply points for them in bunches. So it's Miami now, following the miss by Jaron Jackson. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Anderson uses the glass to finish the way. Anderson's got his first two points of the night. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Hero passes to Struce. Now Oladipo. Martin kicks to Oladipo. And he drives in. And the foul on Victor. And now, yep, this will be a coach's challenge. We thought that might happen. Triggering a review of the personal foul. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original. The previous play is under the it a lot easier to determine. Greg, indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get a new appreciation for just the amount. After the review, the challenge is successful. How hard it can be sometimes the you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And you know, even if a coach still feels it's not the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. The double checking and the game continues on. Catching up on the changes for Memphis. Tillman, he's checked in for Jackson. Hart comes in for Bain. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Morant. Now, here's Anderson. Bobbed up there for Clark. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Hero from long range. The rebound by Anderson. The Grizzlies trail by 17. Driving the lane. Melton, no good. And here's Oladipo. He'll bring it up for the Heat. Passes it to Hero. Oladipo taking his time here from past the arc. It's rebounded by Memphis. Here's Melton. A three-pointer is right on target. Melton's got his second basket of the night. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. And again, it's the Heat missing. I mean, he's staying aggressive, trying to regain his touch. But right now, he's hurting the team. They get it back. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Oladipo misses. Memphis has gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Pass to Clark. Now, here's Melton. Guarded by Oladipo. Melton, no good. There's Hero with the three to the paint. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Hero's got five. Not lacking confidence. Love seeing Tyler go up strong with this one. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Heat out front, up by 16. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court dish. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. On the four for Miami. Adebayo is the pivot with Tucker playing the four. Then there's Lowry. Then there's Jimmy Butler. And it's Drews in at the two spot. The epic counts. A player who's aware of everything around him. Brooks sees the man break open and hits him. Pass to Tucker. 
Adebayo, high post. Stolen. And it's Memphis on the break. Here's Bain. Lays it in off the breakaway. And something we don't see nearly as much as we used to. The finger roll. And Tucker has it in the corner. Oh, through the foul. Almost hit the three-point button. But he'll go to the line to shoot three. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Miami. They've turned in a fantastic performance from three-point range. That's been a weapon for them all game. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. The Heat making a switch here. Heroes checked in. The pass to Adams. Jackson a screen on Adebayo. And Adebayo sends it back. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Adebayo. Here's Bain. Five to shoot. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. Harassing defensively, Tyler Hero is a competitor who doesn't let his motor go cold. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Butler against Brooks. Back to Hero. Kicks it to Lowry. Here's Tucker. Wow, came this close to a four-point one. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Second team. That's on Jaron Jackson. Shooting for Miami. And the second free throw, good. And he nails the third. Morant with it. The dish to Adams. He kicks it to Brooks. Jackson in the corner. Pass to Bain. Three-pointer. No good there. And Miami the other way now. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Hero passes to Butler. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Looking back at the previous decade, Steve, in the NBA, super teams have been dominant in the league. Do you like the ones with two or three stars? You know, each has its advantages, Kevin. The two-star model allows for a deep bench. We saw that with AD and LeBron in L.A. But the three-star alignment, a la the Brooklyn Nets, those can be potent on the offensive end. Both work if you're raising up those trophies. to Morant. Gets it to fall. The bucket from Bain. Efficient performance from him. Not the case for everyone else on his team. To the right side. Hero passes to Autobio. Good ball movement here by Miami. To the middle. Here's Hero. The shot from the low post is good. And the Heat lead by 19. A focused individual. Hero's not going to let a little contact affect his shot. Jackson a screen on Buck. Here's Brooks. And that one is off. And Miami the other way now. Two minutes remaining at the game. Lowry passes to Tucker. Back to Lowry. Adebayo high post. Hero on the wing. From downtown. It's hauled in by Adams. Adams has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Hey, yo, right here, right Here's there. Bain, defended by Butler. Bain, no good. Miami leading by 19 points. Butler attacking, and it's Butler with the jam. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Heat. The sheer volume of three-pointers was the deciding factor tonight at Super. Yeah, they, they sink one and, and then do it again, and that strategy did work. And so with this win, they'll move to six victories on the season. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone.
He can beat you from the outside and the inside. Jaron Jackson's versatility and his skill set is a huge asset for this team. Butler kicks to Adebayo. Now, Hero. He's covered closely. Get to Dago. That one good from Adebayo. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. On the heels of this run, you wonder where was this effort earlier on? Well, the question becomes, are they playing that much better now? Or has their opponent taken the rest of the night off? Payne for three. Jimmy Butler with the rebound. Pass to Autobio. Now, Hero. Not a lot of room. Back to Autobio. Shoots over Adams. And it's off the back rim. No good. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. That's to come into an opponent's game. building and dominate the way they did tonight Thank says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Kevin, thank you. Victor, what does tonight's performance say about the confidence of this team? Uh, this one's pretty good. We play great together. You know, um, and we play well together as a team. So when we do that, it's easier for us to be teams. Victor, one to Matha. Thank you, my man. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is...